How are you today? I am, well, it's already 7.15 in the evening. I did record my Dutch vlog earlier today. When I was doing that, I was knitting a sample. Last weekend, I recorded the tutorial for the pattern that comes with the advent calendar. Uh, but I wasn't, I wasn't too happy. So I decided to do it again on a yarn dyeing day, which is stupid, of course, because my hands look messy, colorful, but messy. <laughs> But it is what it is. Um, I'm running out of time. I always say to myself, I will do this sooner rather than later. But somehow it's later again, as always. I went to the vet this afternoon with just Apollo, for obvious reasons. And um, all was well. I have been dyeing yarn. Uh, my cookie dough ice cream colorway and met apple chips colorway. Um, I went to the hairdresser. Doesn't look like much at the moment, but I have been doing some shopping and it was raining so hence the hair and while I was answering the Dutch vlog while I was answering while I was recording the Dutch vlog I answered some questions Look, this is my oh it doesn't show in this light is this an especially dark one? This is a little better. This is my vuur and bos, fire and bush, which is a dreadful combination, of course. But somehow, this name just got picked a long time ago, and we decided to keep it. Um, I was answering questions when recording the Dutch vlog and one of the questions I answered was um, someone said, Joyce, not someone, Joyce said it, I came to know you as a moderator of the Sock Madness. Uh, how did you become a moderator and were there was it stressful and well she just wanted me to tell about my experience as a sock madness moderator i have had so much fun um, helping out with sock madness sock madness is a speed knitting competition it's around the march madness which i don't know but so i got told that is a basketball thing I think anyways when you want to uh, knit the sock madness you register and then you have to uh, knit a qualifier and the time that you need to knit the qualifier determines in which team you will be put because you will be put on a team with people who are about the same knitting speed as you. And that is because um, when you knit the, the patterns for sock madness, and for example, when you are in a team with 50 knitters, the 40 fastest knitters 
will proceed to round two. And then the 30 fastest knitters will proceed to round three. I'm just giving an example for the numbers. Sometimes it, is a, it was a little different. Uh, seven less than the previous round, for example. All the sock madness patterns are designed by designers who don't ask money. They just design for sock madness. And if you are a sock madness knitter, the patterns are free, of course. Oh, oh, oh so beautiful. My, where's my martini gone away? Now I just have in the navy to label. Um, I became a sock madness moderator because at a certain point in time, I have been um, uh, um, I have been participating in sock madness two or three years or something, and it was always great fun. And the team of moderators was awesome, really. So I just send a message to Tricia Zemi. She is, uh, she was the big sock madness boss, so to say. She, she's not the one who started it, I think, but she has been doing it for many years. When I quit as a moderator, uh, it was the same year that she uh, decided to quit. And that was, I, I quit because I was um, going to be president for the district for inner wheel that would take up take up a lot of a lot of time hi poopy ben je daar niet hè hallo hallo lieverd oh ik ben ook zo lief maar ik moet even werken ja ja je bent lief oh he was such a good boy at the vet yes oh such a beauty. Um, so when I uh, uh, was going to be president of Inner Wheel, I decided that uh, it was time for me to leave Sock Madness. Yeah, 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 you may leave. <laughs> I'm labeling and he is just hugging me. And, um, <clears throat> but I have been a moderator for five years, I think. And um, all the patterns need to be tested. And I have been told I was a nice tester because I keep to the pattern. I don't think I would be uh, the best tester now. Because as, as you evolve as a knitter, um, your brain just starts solving things, right? And when I was a sock madness moderator, I was just this fairy. This very precise knitter. I followed the pattern to the letter. So if there was a mistake in the pattern, I could find it. Knitting. I'm not a tech editor. That is amazing to me. Tech editors read the pattern and find mistakes. That, to me, is a superpower. Ooh, Apollo is here on the table and Apparently, he thinks I'm talking to him and he's going to be a cutie and you are going to bump out over the camera stand again, are you? Let's not do that. Let's play it safe and put you here. So anyways, uh, I helped out with the test knitting, not a difficult um, patterns each round. 
the pattern gets more challenging. And I did not enjoy doing the challenging patterns because I was just too slow of a knitter. So, but you all could pick your choices and say, oh, I would like to test this and I would like to test that. And uh, she also asked, was it stressful? Well, from times maybe, but not so much for me. Um, the first year, I think, that I was a moderator, we just, as moderators, ran around all the threads on Ravelry. And the, the second or the third year, we decided to uh, dedicate ourselves to certain teams as moderators. So that was nice because then you only had to have three or four teams on watch. So each morning I would just log on to Ravelry, check my teams, answer questions, make fun with everyone. And that was it. Joyce, Joyce also asked if I, um, if we had funny situations and we had a lot of fun, a lot of fun, but I can recall that one time um, some of the moderators were extremely busy um, moving the entire administration of Sock Madness over to Google. I can't recall precisely what we were doing, but it was a big thing. It was huge. So everyone was on hold and uh, the moderators were doing their magic, especially Ronnie. She was really good. Her name's Raspberry on Ravelry. And um, I thought, it would be funny to give all the moderators working so hard a thumbs up and to send them some love. So I call on everyone to um, add mention them on Ravelry and wave to them. And so if they logged on to Ravelry, they had like 150 messages of people waving to them. <laughs> At the time that I that I thought of the plan, it sounded really sweet and funny in my head. But it was really troublesome. <laughs> Stupid. So um, I answered another question. Oh yes. Um, there was a question, how long I have been knitting and if I started out as a continental or an English knitter. I picked knitting back up in 2013. So 10 years ago. Before that, I have been knitting on and off. But since 2013, I have been knitting continuously. And I've learned so much. But I was an English knitter and I was the one that had to let go of the, of the right hand needle to wrap the yarn. And if you see me do this, you see what my arm and shoulders are doing. And um, once I saw a, a YouTube about continental knitting, I was like, that's it. That's what I'm going to learn. So I practiced continental knitting. Um, it worked for me. So I used to have shoulder pain, pain in my arm, pain in my neck from knitting. And I couldn't do it for a really long time. And once I started to do the continental knitting, I could knit for days and uh, at first I did the pearl the easy way 
So if you are making a purl stitch continental, there's an easy way and a little more complex way. The little more complex way is the way you would wrap your yarn when um, making an English purl. So, but at first I learned the easy way. And then, um, and then I learned that the stitch would be mounted wrong. And at first I thought, well, that's not a problem. If you always do the same, then it's okay. But when I uh, started uh, knitting lace and brioche, I got confused. And I was afraid that I would mess things up because I, I did the purl the wrong way or the other way. Combined knitters do the purl the easy way in um, projects where they can just easily uh, knit through the back loop on the right side row. So I decided to, to take time to learn myself the other way to purl. And that comes so easy to me that I don't even use the combined knitting. So purling is as good for me as the knit stitch in continental knitting. So I have been doing that ever since. And uh, that were the questions that I answered. Hmm. And I think that's it for today. I still have some questions. I have one more thing in uh, the little bag of things that I saved to talk about in Vlogmas. I have a poll running on Facebook about my Christmas Eve cast on. And um, the choices are uh, a lace project with Abmesha yarn or um, the canal ring shawl by Stephen West with my Bilum yarn or seriously holy with my The Wee Yarn Company and Undercover Otter yarn. And I think the last one is what I look forward to most at the moment. Although the canal ring show is also very pretty. But, um, well, I put up a poll on Facebook and the Seriously Holy is definitely uh, picked the most. So I think I might cake up the yarn tomorrow because on Sunday, I'm going to knit on my Christmas Eve cast on the entire day, except for my temperature blanket. And I would be, I will be so glad when my temperature blanket will be done next week. I'm kind of fed up. So it is okay if that is finished. So that's it for now. Mm, I made a tiny swatch today for the instruction for the advent calendar pattern. And, uh, but when I, when I started my afternoon, I was planning on finishing the instruction. And then I had to go to the vet and then I had to change the dye baths. And then I had to go to the hairdresser and to the butcher and do shopping. And when I came back, it was already dark. So I hope, I hope it will be light and bright enough tomorrow to finish my um, instruction and otherwise I will just have to make do with the light there is. Look at this. Oh. He always turns to his back as if he wants to say rub my belly, rub my belly. He doesn't want you to. If I want to keep using both my hands, it is better I don't touch his belly. But for the rest, he is just 
such a sweetie. Oh, he's so lief. Sometimes he's just nibbling my fingers. I, I take it as a sign of love. He doesn't bite really hard, but he does tend to grab it for just a second. Can you hear him? He is purring. Oh. Okay, so that's it for today. I'm going to upload and edit everything and prep the email. And then you can watch this tomorrow, which will be your today. And there will be a new piece of the pattern, of course. Enjoy and happy knitting. Bye-bye.